Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here, geographer and someone who loves to get out onto the landscape. Let me show you something, the National Geographic Trails Illustrated Topographic Maps. What's not to love about these? Let's take a look at these in more detail, shall we? This one is Redstone, Marble, and the Maroon Bells. Again, National Geographic Trails Illustrated Topographic Map. Ah, ooh, revise regularly. That's important in this changing world of ours. Waterproof, tear resistant. That's good. That's important out there on the landscape. Weather happens, right? This one's got index for USGS seven and a half minute topographic maps. That's important. So you can get those USGS topographic maps. And this is uh, the area that's covered on those on this particular map. Uh, the advantage though of this one, or as opposed to those USGS topographic maps, and I still love those by the way, is to work at the USGS. But the advantage here is that this one's actually revised and it's got this weather proofing on it. It's also got other enhancements that we'll talk about. This one's got a scale bar, that's a good thing. It's got a legend, that's a good thing. It also has other Trails Illustrated maps in this particular area in central Colorado. You can see the other ones that exist. And it also has a variety of other things that we'll take a look at. Okay, so this one has these little brown lines all over the place. What are, what are those? And also the shaded relief. Well, those brown lines are the contour lines, in, 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 indicating lines of equal elevation. So that's important to know. What are these numbers in the, in the margins? Well, you've got a latitude and a longitude. Here's a, here's a longitude. And these little blue lines are, and numbers are the Universal Transverse Mercator System. That is a different coordinate system, but also important. It's got distances to neighboring towns along roadways. And here's another longitude line. Here is a latitude line with a number right there, 39 degrees, 15 minutes, and zero seconds. It's got mountain names and trail lines on it and names of trails. It's got the land ownership, so who owns the land? In this case, National Forest for most of this map and wilderness area. This shaded relief is very nicely done. These maps are made, by the way, with a geographic information system, or GIS. I happen to know that they use a lot of ArcGIS in their, in their product from, in making these maps from ESRI. ESRI. Yes, this is great. So we've got this large map that we can unfold and use out in the field. There's other things on here as well. It's got indications on when trails are closed, when campfires are allowed. Of course, check local conditions because this could change based on uh, conditions of the soil. It's also got these very helpful things in the margins. Wilderness conduct, so making your experience enjoyable and also enjoyable for others. Being prepared. And by the way, this particular hiker also prepared this list of, of things. So this, this hiker that's using this topographic map is very well prepared. It's good to have that checklist. Things to do to respect the land and make sure your impact on the land is minimal, that you're enjoying it, but you're also ensuring that others in the future will be able to do that as well. A little bit about the coordinate system and National Geographic Trailers Illustrated and also the Ranger Districts, who to contact. So this is great. Wow, I love this map. I mean, what's not to love? This map is, is not just fun to use and fascinating to explore before and during a, and after a trip, but it also... It's also important to have. You know as well as I do, based on watching my videos, that I love geotechnologies, GPS, GIS, remote sensing, web mapping, etc. But having a map like this is not just fun and interesting, but it's an important piece to have for survival out in the wilderness because technology can and will fail. And you need to have a backup system, i.e. a non-computer digital item that you can actually hold in your hands and rely upon in case of uh, your technology failing. So. Get out there and explore the world, protect the world, love the world, enjoy it. And one of the ways to do that is being prepared and using topographic maps like this, such as this one from Trails Illustrated. Good folks up there in Evergreen, Colorado. I know several of their staff, good people. And 
That's what I've got to say. Thanks so much.